what time it is. It's time for Little Fish Dragon Reviews. Welcome back, Dragon Riders. Little Fish here, bringing you another Dragon's Review. For the month of June 2015, the fast food restaurant chain Wendy's has released How to Train Your Dragon Toys to promote Netflix's new show, Dragon's Race to the Edge. This new show, feature all your favorite characters from How to Train Your Dragon, takes place between Defenders of Birth, the TV show which was aired on Cartoon Network, and the second film. There are five toys in all to collect, so let's take a closer look. Now let's start off by taking a closer look at the awesome bag that the toy comes in. A few things I should note before we start is that one, if your Wendy's are anything like the Wendy's by me, some of them do not have the toys just yet, so you might want to call ahead or they might be closed due to their store refreshing themselves. Also, you might not be able to buy the toys separately. Now, I remember last time I saw a really cool promotion with Wendy's, you could buy the toys separately, but it seems that they've changed their ways and now you have to buy the meal to get the toy, which is kind of unfortunate because some of you might not like fast food and others of you might be vegetarian. I'm sure if you ask their manager, you'll be able to compromise something. And thirdly, with the promotion, if you go to Wendy's after 4 p.m., you can get the kids' meal for $1.99 plus tax, as opposed to the three, four, some odd dollars that you would pay before 4 o'clock. It saves a lot of money, and it's a really good deal for a hamburger, chicken nuggets, chicken wrap, a drink, a frosty, and fries. And with that discounted price, make sure they actually give it to you, because again, with my Wendy's, they don't give you the price unless you ask for it which is really unfortunate for all the people who come in. There are no signs up, so how are they supposed to know? It is on their website, it's on the commercials, so if they give you any guff, tell them to refer to their website or refer to the TV commercials. So, let's get started. Take a closer look at the bag, and it's Netflix and DreamWorks Dragons. It doesn't say Race to the Edge, but that is the name of the new series. It's got Hiccup and Toothless and you have to feed your inner dragon. It's kind of odd that Fish Legs isn't riding Meat Lug. I wonder where he went. And here are the five toys that you could collect. First two aren't exactly toys. There is dragon hand tattoos that you could put on your thumb and forefinger and make it look like the dragons are chomping or blowing fire or just use them as random tattoos. I did not get this one because there's only so much fast food that I can take. Uh, there's also the dragon's placemat which uh, doubles as a dragon's guide and a board game which is kind of cool but another item that I opted out of getting. And today I will be opening up the Stormfly treat container. And there's Stormfly and Astrid. And Astrid is in her new costume, which is looking pretty awesome. It matches Stormfly very well with the color blue. There is the Toothless Grabber. And the Hook Fang Bowl. And they are at Participating Wendy's while supplies last. So again, double check with your Wendy's. Make sure it's open. Make sure they have the toys. And go get them. Let's take a look at the toys. So starting off, the bags are pretty cool. They are not numbered and stores are receiving them at random. So some stores might have some of the toys, some stores might have others, but you can tell what's inside by the picture on the front. And it actually does say what's inside on the back, but I'll show that in a moment. So let's take a closer look at the bags. We have Hook Fang, and this is for the Hook Fang Bowl. And these are for ages four and up, and it is the hook fang bowl. And then we have Stormfly, which is the biggest of all the toys that they have. Also ages three and up, because there is some assembly required with the hook fang and the Stormfly toy. It is the Stormfly tree container. And lastly, also for ages three and up, we have Toothless. That is the Toothless Grabber. All right, well, let's open these up. And to also note, actually, there is a little tear strip. So opening these is gonna be very easy. So we will start off with the hook fang bowl. Comes with two inserts, promoting the Dragon's show on Netflix, which premieres June 26th. 
It also talks about all the other wonderful DreamWorks shows that are on Netflix. I do happen to watch All Hail King Julian and The Adventures of Puss in Boots. I actually think The Adventures of Puss in Boots is better than the Puss in Boots movie that came out, but then again, that's just me. All Hail King Julian is just fun to watch. It also comes with this little insert that tells you what the bowl can be used for and that you have to make sure to wash it before use. Fill the bowl with your favorite treat as Hookfang guards it from other hungry beasts. And it shows how to put it together and treats that you can put inside. Let's put it together. Seems pretty easy. He's a little sticky just on the paint side. And that's the base and should be pretty easy. Just kind of stick it in. Need a little bit of muscle to get in, but that's the hook fang bowl. Not a deep bowl, so you might not want to use uh, milk and cereal in it. But if you got some dry cereal, some fruit, maybe your french fries or some ketchup, there you go. This is actually pretty cool. I like the sculpt. It's actually very detailed for a kid's meal toy. Kind of wish that they had colored it all the way down, but I guess they figure if you're going to use it, just take his head off and wash this part and you don't have to worry about paint coming off. So we'll put him back on and take a closer look. having a little trouble focusing it. But you can see that his hand and his wing is around the edge of the bowl. And let's move on to Stormfly. Next is the Stormfly treat container. I actually didn't have to put it together like I thought I would. It felt like it was two separate pieces in the bag, but it came out as one piece, which is very convenient. It also comes with the little insert, Stormfly treat container. Store your favorite treats inside Stormfly the Dragon's Jaw. Open wide and use the inside of the dragon's mouth as a food keeper. Also, make sure to wash it before use. And like the picture, it says that you have to uh, construct the item, but it came as one piece for me and it shows what she can do. Again, really nice sculpt for a toy and very useful because it's a container. You don't have to put food in it. You can put rubber bands, erasers, shopkins, whatever you like. This is the inside of the mouth. Very simple, but they make it Nice and lightweight plastic so little fingers can't get hurt. Really cool. And lastly, we have the Toothless Grabber. Also comes with this insert saying, Feed your inner dragon. Use Toothless to grab your finger foods and eat them in a fun way. Also, please wash with soap before use. None of these toys, I should add, are dishwasher safe, so keep that in mind when you're cleaning them off for the little ones. Or for yourself. And let's take a look. You put your fingers in the back and use it like a little finger puppet to eat all your foods. So, let's try them out. Put your fingers right back here. There's a spot for your thumb. A little difficult to maneuver. Gotta figure out where to put my other fingers. I love the way this is sculpted. Even though I can't figure out how to use it properly, I really like this. So let's take a closer look at Toothless. Really great sculpt of his head. And he got his little horn nubbies, especially the little ones on the bottom, which is nice attention to detail. Again with the back and his tongue, which mine seems to be coming out a little bit, but hopefully it will stay in. And let's open him wide. It's a toothless mouth. Pretty cool. Let's see how he works picking stuff up. So I have some cheese fish and a graham cracker. Let's see if Toothless can pick it up. Nope. Oh, he's got a fish. Nom, nom, nom. Pretty good. 
can you pick up another? I guess once you get used to it, you can have them eat anything. Or if you'd like to share, well, and give it back. Ha ha ha. Let's see if you can pick up a graham cracker. Pretty good. That's a lot of fun. And I think Toothless agrees. So these are three of the five items that you could collect from the Wendy's promotion of Dragon's Race to the Edge. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I really like these. I hope everybody else can get their hands on them while they're out. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr. And until next time, Dragon Riders, don't forget to feed your inner dragon. Um.